Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to a very special Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the farm pass and new perks in more detail. So the secondary news has just been released by the Haiti team. If you guys haven't watched it, make sure you go ahead and watch it. There are so many things that Camilla explained. So I'm looking forward to this update because I think it's cool. Well, anyway, so I'm into the game and if you go in here, let me just Alright guys, so here you can see Haiti Dairy News Fall 2020 update. So let's get right into the video and start talking about the farm pass. So before I talk about anything in more detail, a basic introduction of what Farm Pass is going to be, it's going to be a monthly feature that will enable you to get free prizes in the game. While there will be paid prizes, there will be free prizes of course by doing different tasks. So, the first question was, where the farmhouse are the baby chick house is going to be located? So, guess what? It's going to be right here across your neighborhood derby, I think. This is what I saw. I think it's kind of cool. I can't wait. So, let's see. Alright, guys. So, in this picture, you can see the chick house is located just close to the neighborhood donations. The chickens are coming out of the house and there is a road on which they are walking. So once the new farm pass season will start, the chicks from the chick house are going to run away. So this picture you guys can see that the chicks are all going away and I think it's really cute and funny. Oh my gosh, I'm totally loving this image. Look how they all are walking and so yeah, they're just gonna run away when the new season is going to get started. And then, guess what? You'll just have to collect them back again. Now, this is the image from the last Dairy News that we saw, just like a teaser of what Farm Pass is actually going to be. And this is the new look of your Farm Pass feature, so this is how it's going to look like. So first of all, on the left-hand side, we see there's a chick house, and then in the bottom, in the middle, there's a road on which the chicks are going. Then on the top and at down, there are different items. So the top items are perks, which you guys can see there is a lock, and the bottom ones are free. So the top ones, I think, are going to be the paid one. If you're going to pay, then you're going to get them. And how much money are you going to need? That's approximately $5 US but you can always convert that amount in your own country's currency. So it's obviously going to be different for everybody and I cannot really confirm you guys yet, but we shall see when the update comes. So on the road, if you have a close look, we can see the chicks are going and remember that your the other chicks, they have run away. So now your aim is to collect the, the farm pass points and you have to collect the chickens. For example, here's a chicken, um, the baby chick, you just have to collect it and when she will collect it, it will come back to your farm and that will just look really cute. So this is how your farm pass is going to look like. And that little paw sign that you see over the baby chick, I think these are the farm pass points. And then this five and 10, maybe these are the total number of points that you have to collect in order to unlock these things and also to collect the chicken. So yeah. Now, how to unlock the baby chick once you complete enough farm pass points. Like in the picture, you guys can see the baby chick has a balloon and it's flying away. So that means that you have caught one chicken or the one chick. All right, guys, now we're going to see the farm pass tab and we're going to see how we're going to be collecting the points to catch the baby chickens and to unlock the perks and other prizes. So there are two sections that are going to be the daily goals and they're going to be the season goals. The daily goals are going to reset every 24 hours and the season goals are going to reset every week. The daily goals are going to be easy ones and you can see, for example, complete two truck orders and you're getting three points. Then there's um, use one green, blue, purple or gold lure to catch a fish, you're getting three and then plant five sesame to get three points. It's pretty much the same as you do for your valley points. And the season goals are going to be kind of difficult and they're going to give you more points. For example, receive express train five times, you're getting 50 um, points. So that's not a problem. It's going to stay for one week and you can easily complete these tasks to get season pass points. 
and open five mystery boxes on farms and complete 20 truck orders. So that's kind of challenging as compared to the daily golds. On the top, you guys can see it also shows that how many days are left till the season is there. So for example, 25 days left and below that is your pass road, which we just saw. And this is going to be your pass road on which the chicks are going to walk and you're going, going to unlock the chicks that then going to come back to your farm. And remember that the chicks are only going to stay there till the season is active. Once the season ends, I think the chickens are all going to run away and then you'll have to wait till the next season. That's what I think. That's what I know. Now talking about what kind of prizes will you get from the farm pass? Well, these are going to be the expansion materials. You're going to get coins, you're going to get XP, you're going to get puzzle pieces, expansion permits, and much more. But I think there's no decoration because I think some people were actually thinking that there's probably going to be decoration. But guess what? They're going to be perks, which I'm really, really excited for. And that's such a cool thing. All right, guys, introducing the new perks. Oh my gosh, these are really exciting. So these are the things that are going to enhance your farming activity on a daily basis. And I feel like these are going to be present in the paid section. So only if you're going to pay the money, then you're going to get them. But people were saying they're going to be a trial season. So maybe you'll be able to try this for once just for free so that you can see how it works. So I think that's a really cool idea. So I'm actually looking forward to all these perks. So now I'm going to go into more detail of each and every perk and we're going to see how this is going to work. So there are going to be a total of 10 perks in the farm pass. So the first perk that we're going to get from the farm pass is the Derby Task Regeneration. So let's see how this perk is going to work. So most of the time what happens when we're playing the derby, we get busy, we cannot play the game, then our tasks get expired. So guess what, by using this perk, you'll be actually able to get back your task from the same progress and then you will be able to complete it and this will not count in your actual derby tasks. So I think this is like a really cool thing and you can only get one task per derby back. Like in this picture, you guys can see task expired. You want to use the farm pass perk to reactivate this task. Your progress on this task will remain and you will have more time to complete it. You can only reactivate one task per derby. So I think it's cool for those people who are derby lovers. I'm not a big derby lover, so I think it's probably fine to me because I normally never expire my tasks. Like there's been like a rare chance that I ever expire my task. I, I don't do that, so it's it's like a no for me. But I think it's cool for the people who play the derby, of course. The second perk is going to be the extra booster storage, and I know a lot of people are going to love this. So by the, using this perk, you will be able to activate two boosters for free at the same time. Like here in this picture, you guys can see there's one booster which is already active, and then you have one more slot to activate another booster which is showing a baby chick photo on it. And here you guys can also see that you can activate any other booster when you have one booster already working and there will be a sign of a baby chick on that booster. There are going to be more perks which are extra truck help, extra town help, and extra boat help that you'll be able to ask help on more crates than your normal limit. For example, in this photo, you guys can see ask for help one over one, and there's a sign of the baby cheek, which is showing that this is a perk. And I think these perks are going to be in the free section, so even if you don't pay for the pass, you still will be able to get them. And I think they're going to stay there till whole month. I'm not sure, but I think that's it. Like when you get them, they're going to stay there until the season is there. Another perk, which we also saw in the last um, Dairy News, which is to get an extra spin on the Wheel of Fortune for a whole month. Like here in this picture, you guys can see a free Farm Pass win. And a similar perk is going to be the extra Valley Fuel Spin, which is going to work exactly in the Valley to get more fuel. The next perk is going to be asking for extra donations in your neighborhood. Now this means that you can actually request for two items at a single time. I think this is what I'm looking forward to because I always request a lot in my neighborhood. So 
Yeah, you guys can see on the left hand side there's a chicken sign, which means this is a perk request. The next perk is going to be having extra slots on your road uh, on your prediction machines, not the roadside shop. Like in the picture you guys can see, it says the perk is unlocked. Choose a building, so you'll have to choose one out of three buildings on which you want extra slots. And I will always choose dairy because I'm always short in cream and butter, so I need more. So you guys can see this perk adds two extra production slots for the building you choose until the end of the season. This is totally awesome. Like in the picture you guys can see, there are two extra slots which are purple in color. Another special perk is going to be the diamonds box. And I'm going to show you guys how this is going to work. So by this, you will be able to give diamonds to your neighbors. Okay, so you guys can see perk unlocked. Get diamonds. Send your neighbors um, a gift of diamonds. Send now. So here you guys can see you have sent your neighbors a farm pass gift. And there are five diamonds. So the very first five people will be able to get these free diamonds. And I think it's a cool activity when you're playing together. Everyone gets five diamonds. This is so cool. This seems like a very good perk. So I actually like this one. All right, guys. Now the question is where you can see your perks. So there's going to be the perks special tab where you guys can see all the perks that you have. For example, you have your uh, reactivate derby task, which is active. Once per derby, you can reactivate it. And then you have the extra slot for dairy, which is active. And then at the bottom, you'll all be able to be able to see the other perks which are available, but you still have not, um, I think, unlocked them or maybe you have not um, activated them. So here you guys can see 12 pass points for the extra truck help. So this is going to be a whole tab for the perks. And this is your farm pass and the chick is going. So at the bottom, there are free and at the top, there are paid perks, which you guys can see are locked. And you can all choose all the prizes at once. You can get all the truck helps, all the extra donations. So all you have to do is to complete the tasks in order to unlock these prizes, these perks, and then you can activate them at the same time. It's not a problem. All right, guys, another very cool perk or feature is going to be the new hats. So you guys can see there are a couple of hats, which are different types. And you will be able to get these hats to your farm animals. So I'm going to show you guys how this is going to work. So introducing, customizing your farm animals. So I think this is also going to be a perk from the farm pass. And you just have to drag this brush to your cows. And they're all going to get dressed up. So you guys can see unique accessories for your animals. So here you guys can see there are different varieties of hats. You can choose any if you want. And remember that each animal at one time can only have one free accessory. It cannot have a hat or the scarf at the same time. It can only have one thing. So all you have to do is tap on the hat and then tap on your animal and it's going to get dressed up just as you want. Like here you guys can see that the cow is wearing a funny hat and then there's another cow which is wearing this kind of hat. So I think, I think it's really cool. A lot of people are requesting this kind of feature, so I think it's probably going to be good for them, and I think it's going to be in the paid section as well. And I'm not so sure exactly how this is going to work, but we shall see that when the update comes and when I'm going to try this. I can't wait to try this. Alright guys, so that's all for the perks, for the baby chicks, and for the farm pass. It's going to be a huge update. It's a very big feature, of course. So when it's going to come, we're all going to try this and we're going to see how this fits into the game. But I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm looking forward to it. This is a new feature. Obviously, this is a new concept. So I hope this works well in the game. And I can't wait to try this. I can't wait for the update. I'm not so sure when it's coming. I'm not sure if it's coming the 23rd or it's coming on 30. I'm not sure if there's any more things coming. But we know there's a Sanctuary Animal coming, so I'm looking forward to that too. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this update. Are you loving the perks and the farm pass or not? And subscribe to the channel for more Haiti, which I'll be posting. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.